Hello, I'm Nikias Klo, Head of R&D here at Resalt, and uh, today I would like to show you a new little product that we have that we call Battery Booster. What problem it solves and uh, what you can do with it. So, a lot of you um, have used this cable in the past. You connect it to the decoder box to power the decoder box from a cigarette lighter or any external 12 volt battery and we've got some complaints um, about the way the external battery is discharged. The major thing is that when you connect an external battery the internal battery and the external battery are discharged at the same time. This means at the moment that this thing runs out of battery your external battery is empty and your internal battery is empty. Of course this is not optimal Unfortunately, the hardware is not updatable at the moment, so we cannot just run a firmware upgrade to solve this problem. On the other side, we understand that many of you have built cables like this for your local battery type. Something, for example, like this, where you plug in this battery into this decoder with your custom cable. This is why we came up with the battery booster. Basically, what it does, it connects to your existing cable, just as the timing system would do, and it boosts the voltage of the battery to a level where the internal battery is not discharged by the box. This has two major advantages. One is that the external battery is discharged before the internal battery is touched. This means that the external battery is completely empty and you still have the full internal battery to run for another six to eight hours. And the second um, benefit of the battery booster is that it fully discharges the external battery. Because normally if you just connect the external battery to our decoder like you used to in the past, one problem is that losses along the cable and the connector and internal losses lead to a situation where the external battery is not really fully discharged. In normal situations you can have up to 30 to 50 percent of charge left in the external battery when the system shuts down. This means that you need a lot larger batteries than you would normally need using the battery booster. So with the battery booster, with a battery size like this, you can add another six hours of runtime. And with a 48 amp hours standard uh, car battery, you can add another full day. So again, you plug in your existing cigarette lighter cable or whatever cable you have built yourself for your batteries into the battery booster and you plug in the battery booster into the system and that's it. The battery booster has one LED. It shows green as long as the external battery is uh, good. It shows orange when it's close to empty and it shows red when the battery is empty. There is a safety feature in the battery booster which leads to a shutdown of the the current which is drawn off the external battery once the external battery is empty. This means your external battery is not damaged by the battery booster. Obviously the battery booster is in a waterproof housing, it's quite robust. And with the setup of using the same cable and connector, it's also another benefit. If you happen to forget the battery booster, you can always still use your cable like you were using it before. So, I hope you like the battery booster. You can order it in our webshop. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.